Welcome to Stop Settling, and today's episode is all about breakthrough, accelerating transformations, and leadership. And don't let my tagline on my logo fool you. Accelerating transformations is a little bit different than accelerated transformations. The accelerated is it's happened. The accelerating is while it's happening, and I've got some shout out stories to incredible leaders and clients and friends who are actually breaking through and making it happen by applying coaching tools, techniques, and tips, mostly with our work together, but also from their own stories that they're sharing and bringing to the table. So let's talk about it and get right into it. And as you're thinking about your own story, don't be shy. You can share it right here on YouTube and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Dana to the fifth. You can make your own breakthroughs happen and you can do it in a really little incremental way and you can do it in a really big way. And there's no right or wrong or good or bad. It's really what works for you. And are you interested in making the change? Are you interested in getting to the next level? It doesn't have to be hierarchy in your career. I want to be a CEO. Okay, great. So did I, and I was, and I didn't really love it. Sometimes it's much more about growing horizontally, and sometimes it's more about changing the dynamic of the way you lead your life and not trying to get on that hamster in the wheel, teeter-totter, work-life balance thing, which you know is a myth anyway. But it's really about, ooh, I want more time for myself with my family. I'm going to take it. I'm going to make it. Or, hmm, I'm not feeling as healthy as I would like. I need to get a personal water rowing machine. Yes, that's a true story. And I need to work on that. And I'm going to set a goal of five days a week from the first time that thing is set up in my basement. But, oh, guess what? That's not realistic. And you're not going to feel good if you don't hit the five out of the park. So, Be realistic. Set your goals in a smart way, specific, measurable, achievable or attainable, realistic and time-based or time-boxed. Our kids in high school, when they're doing design thinking or in a STEM program, they know all about making goals smart because otherwise it's really hard to achieve the big rock goals and the big, hairy, audacious moonshot type of goals. If you don't break it down into small bits and pieces, that are realistic and time-based and specific and attainable or achievable that you can then build off of because you feel good that you hit three days a week on that water rower for a month. And then maybe you move to four and then maybe you realize it's enough or it's not and you really want five. You build up. Most human beings do not say I'm running the Boston Marathon, don't train, run it and end pretty well without injury or run the whole thing without walking. You have to train, you have to build up, you have to practice. And there are tools, tips, techniques, and tricks that all of us have at our disposal and fingertips that need to be applied if we want to make that transformation happen. And with some speed, which is the acceleration part. And for those of us like me who are a little bit ADD, I don't want to spend a lot of time reading about things or learning about things. I want to get in and I want to try it. And if I'm going to fail, I want to fail fast. And I want to learn and iterate and be kind of like Einstein in a way and just experiment or Edison and really not think of my failures as failures, but my failures as learning so that I can do it differently or better the next time. It's not always easy, but that's really what it takes when you want to look at people that have made major breakthrough happen in their life. From a revenue perspective, I have a client who's literally doubled the size of her company in 18 months. Not easy to do. Not everyone is able to do it. But let me tell you, when there's a plan and a strategy and the right team in place, and you're willing to do what it takes to move the needle up and up and up and shore up the team along the way and not just focus on the actual revenue top line and the bottom line net result and savings or holding the line on spend, but really think through the people part of your organization. How do you get people in an area of strength and mobilized in the right way at the right time in the right place? Don't be afraid to mix it up, shake things up, do org dev, get people to move their box around and where they sit and how they operate and which team they're on. And you'll see that you too can have that breakthrough. So if any of these things have inspired you, or if you are having success in any of these ways in yourself, both personally and professionally, we'd love to hear about it. 
So please, again, subscribe and follow me at Dana to the fifth on both Twitter and Instagram. Take the quiz. We're really going for it to get as many people to get what it is they want and desire out of life as possible. And until next time, please make sure you're breaking through.